we normally don't recognize women as leaders. That's a bit absurd, that's a bit awkward, allow me to say so, that in our society, we don't allow me, women to, to, be leaders. to be leaders. We come in live from Africa, and to be specific, we are in South Africa, Kenya. So we have some expectations that the society has towards our women, our ladies. So I want to be elaborating on them. Like, I'm not expecting to see a lady climbing on that tree. Still, very hard to see a lady looking after herds of, herds of uh, goats and uh, sheep. I don't expect a lady to insult a man. What else? I don't expect a lady to go hunting. So, what are your societal expectations? Today I want to be discussing that. Still we have uh, expectations that we have uh, towards ladies and ladies. How is a lady try, supposed to treat each other? We are living in a civilized world whereby you have to support a woman. Yeah? In recent times, women are able to go out there work, get bigger jobs than men. Women are in a position to vie for big political positions. We have been seeing Kenyan women winning governmental positions. Yeah, we have lady governors in this beautiful country. Yeah, that shows you, that's a proof that uh, we respect gender and uh, we're living in a modern world. By the way, I, I'm going to take you back uh, three years ago. I used to see um, African tigress, Miss Trudy and uh, Dim Wango worked so well together. They used to share ideas. They used to travel together. I don't know what happened. But I can tell, of course, I've, I've been these social media platforms, I've been watching them, I've been uh, their biggest supporter since then, up to date, I still watch them. Way back before Miss Trudy got married, and now, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call uh, marriage a scam, but since Miss Trudy got married, she stopped being the beast we knew her, yeah? Miss Tool could travel the world going to... I remember the time she went to New York and uh, Dee felt challenged so she had to leave the country and head to India, you know? At that time, I can say Miss Tool was the biggest of all. We had African tigers, African tigers, but then she was busy trying to conquer Africa, which she did, yeah? At that time, she was in southern part of Africa, if I, I'm not forgetting. Then D was still young, just after school, and she was doing good content about this beautiful country, Kenya, yeah, going hawking at the streets with me, Sudi. Then all of a sudden, it came a tug of war between these ladies. So when Miss Sudi was heading to New York, D had to leave to India, and you know, in India, D got so many followers. She got massive following. As we talk, she had more subscribers than African Tigress and Miss Trudy. That's the fact. Unfortunately, once you go to India, People will love you, they will appreciate you. Uh, there is a certain song by Nicki Minaj. They will love you and uh, appreciate so long as you are beneficial. At that time, they used to watch her, they used to get into her life, but they, they, made, uh, they made her channel grow so fast. What happened when they left our country? They stopped watching. So, the fact that she had more numbers, she could feel that I'm more superior than all these ladies. She could go live and sort every one of them. Yeah, at that time, she left India, she went to a certain country, then Philippines. Then she came, did a video with African Tigress. 
I remember that African title was from, from Zimbabwe. Yeah, they did a very good content. They went to the Kenyan coast together. Then after there, D went back to Philippines the second time. Then African Tigress followed suit. She went to African to, to, to the Philippines. African Tigress never lasted there because they had no good relationship. You could tell. We were the followers. We could tell something was not right. End time, they did a content together. African Tigress could share this content. But we assumed maybe D is not sharing African Tigress uh, content simply because African uh, D was still young. D was still learning the YouTube seats. What happened when she got more numbers? D, D learned that it was time now for her to compete with uh, who is who since now she had the numbers. It, at this time it didn't matter whether you go, you're getting a following from India or go getting a following, following from where. D left Philippines. She came to Kenya. So she wasn't there for African Tigers. African Tigers were left on her own. African Tigers was never happy. I could tell from the, <laughs> the, the content she was giving out. So African Tigers uh, learned that she was not welcomed in that beautiful country. Philippines, my country. So she left to Hong Kong. And that's not what we expected from our African women out there. And time has passed and we have learned that uh, these people might never work together. But who is wrong? Probably they miss some cultural education somewhere. Probably they don't know what the, ex the side expects for, from them. Probably money was the issue. And probably fame. Of course, I don't expect someone to get fame and fail to change. Probably I may change in future, but I don't expect to change. I don't expect to unlearn what the society taught me since I was a kid. So, who has more numbers? Who is more famous? Let's talk. Let's be realistic. D has more f uh, numbers, but who commands more attention? Who has more influence? African Tigress has more influence. Uh, 2D has influence as well. D stopped commanding the big uh, influence she had back then since leaving uh, India. I usually, by the way, I'm being neutral in this. I've been a good follower of them all. I've been, these people have. I could, they have, I could, I can say, their video mentored me to the level I am today. Let's go see Africa. I started with another, another channel which I had some problem and I closed the channel, so I started afresh. But I can tell, Miss Tudi and African Tigress have more influence. Miss Tudi and African Tigress, I've never forgot, I've never forgotten their mother country Kenya these people are always proud of their country when out there they always share their experiences about their country whenever the country is passing through some difficulties you know we have been having protests for the last one one or two months they always are standing with fellow Kenyans that shows you they're proud of their country and they're proud when they get mentioned with their beautiful country. What happened to D? D openly talks about how she's not proud being she's not a proud Kenyan. Everyone knows knows that she's not a proud Kenyan. Yeah, people have been criticizing her for not uh, being a patriot, you know? We could be so much proud whenever we're out there and be bragging how oh, this is our, our girl. 
Oh, she's making us proud. Yeah. Wow. She did a certain video during Valentine's awarding her mother with the vehicle, the BMW. And uh, by the way, we were so much happy. This, uh, this lady at last have got, has got some money and now it's time to appreciate her mother. Damn. Who, who won't be happy whenever someone, especially a woman, is appreciating a mother? <laughs> this was short-lived. When uh, she surprised us by saying that uh, I'm not a Kenyan celebrity. Yeah, she says so. I'm not a Kenyan celebrity. I don't. Know. Someone told. Someone by they told her that um, you're going to train in Kenya. She was like, "Oh, I don't want to train in Kenya. I'm not a Kenyan celebrity." If she's going to deny this, then I'm going to produce the video. Don't forget your roots. Let me. But there, I'm with my friend here. I want to be asking him about his expectations towards. Kenyan ladies of Kenyan women. Bro, yes. tell us your name. My name is John Sopia. John Sopia. I'm a Maasai. Yeah, Actually. this guy is a Maasai warrior. So tell us about your expectations towards uh, African women. My expectations, let me cite from my culture. From my, my culture, exactly. My origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, expectations that we have towards, towards, ladies. towards ladies. Yeah. Allow me to call them women. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this guy is going to open his channel. So once he's done with the process, I'm going to share his link. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. One expectation that you have towards ladies. Towards ladies is a lady is supposed to dress decently. Exactly. In front of her parents more so her father this shows a lot of respect a lot of decency how they are supposed to interact with each other that more so the normal way of greeting is not like any other they normally greet each other by shake their head like this oh you you bend you bend, bend they, 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 they touch, touch your like head this. yeah yeah mm -hmm, yeah that's mm -hmm. how it goes then a lady, what to expect from a will expect a lady to be very extremely obedient okay. towards men. That the, the way you behave, the way you talk, you cannot shout, you cannot just argue with your father or fellow men or fellow ladies. And also, ladies don't argue with other ladies. That is our expectation. Oh. That's our expectation. The way we be, you behave with each other, the way you talk to each other, that shows how the level of decency that they have towards each other. Then our expect another expectation that you normally have that uh, we cannot expect women to go and hunt or or rather go and hunt animals. We can't. We are not. Uh, we don't normally expect that from our culture. sisters, from our culture. That is another expectation that we don't normally it is a bit intrigue it's a bit clandestine expectation that, that we don't normally recognize another one is uh, we don't expect ladies to to attend men men, men functions men functions like uh, circumcision ceremonies oh. we don't allow women to attend so that 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 implies that ladies must respect men yes that shows the level of privacy that uh, that shows the level the boundary the level of respect between well yeah. if you are a lady don't argue with me <laughs> 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 that's on a light note uh, okay thank you thank you <laughs> uh, my good friend goes to Africa I think uh, allow me to again cite a bit absurd, let me absurd uh, expectation from women. We normally don't 
recognize women as leaders. That's a bit absurd, that's a bit awkward. Allow me to say so, that in our society, we don't allow me women to, to, be leaders. to be leaders, to lead us as men. That's why always we normally consider as they are always, they are always, they are always behind the men. They are always the second. That uh, a woman is not. What, what will happen if today a woman uh, declared herself um, fit for the for a certain political position? A woman wants to be your MP, member of parliament. Uh, it's a bit absurd, but due to modernization and uh, we have been modernized, and uh, a certain law has been enforced that all people are equal. Mm -hmm. So we are we are going to allow the law to work on itself that. Uh, all of them are also equal to the measure, equal to the job. They have the capacity to lead us. So, but in our own society, a woman, a lady, is not supposed to be to lead. She's supposed to be under always under men always. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. I want your advice. I have these uh, three girlfriends. Yeah. One is to African tigers. I know you must have heard of yes, African yes, tigers. I've heard of her. We have Dim Wango. Yes, we she's, have, a, she's a very big fan of mine. Yeah, uh, we have Miss Trudy. Yes. These girls are representing Africa to the world. Yes. They are big, I can say so. They're doing mm -hmm. whatever I do. And they are, they are quite big. These people don't work together. They they once used to be very close, close friends. friends, but uh, then uh, they got some different. I, due I, I to guess one reason or the other, they yeah. got. We really don't know whether it's fame, it's money, it's men, but give them an advice. Uh, the best thing that I can tell them is always that uh, unity is power, mm -hmm. and uh, you need always to work together to achieve something. Mm -hmm. We're now a person. Became f become famous or popular, then it is common to human being just to develop pride or, pride or perhaps any other thing that may cause her, his or her to isolate from the other. But the best thing I can tell them is uh, we are proud of you and we will be very happy if you reunite with each other. Mm -hmm. Between the three ladies, that is uh, African Tigers. Dean Wango and Miss Trudy, who is your favorite and who do you think is more influential than the other? I think it's uh, African Tigress. African yeah. Tigress? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's the most famous one. Oh. Yeah, she's very influential. Yeah, the Maasai warriors have approved African Tigress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, bro. Thank I you appreciate. so much. I appreciate Thank you. Yeah. Right. No. I'm coming live from this beautiful land, the Maasai land, and uh, I found my friend here looking after cattle. And since uh, I do this for life, I do this as the lifestyle, I had to engage him in my discussion. Yeah, very happy that he came along to have the discussion with me. My name is Gossi Africa. Whoever is watching me for the first time, kindly subscribe, like the video, and kindly don't forget to leave a comment have a goodbye thank you